The concept of deformer. In this episode, we will learn how to use deformers. Deformer is a key mechanic of a live 2D model. With deformers, we will make the head tilt, hair sway, arms move, and body move. If you open a sample model, you should notice rectangles in gray. When you click on one, the frame turns red. These rectangles are deformers. Each deformer handles at least one art mesh. Moving or transforming a deformer affects the art mesh it contains. Just like art mesh, deformers can also register movements in parameters. The rectangle one is a warp deformer. It warps around and applies its transformation on an art mesh. The circular one is a rotation deformer. It can retain the shape and the size of the texture while rotating around the center of a circle. It can be rotated by dragging the handle or by entering a specific number value in the angle input field. It is mainly used on the head, arms, and legs. Let's try to give the head a tilting movement with a deformer. We can use angle Z parameter to handle this movement. First step, lock all the irrelevant groups on the parts palette. We are going to deal with the parts above the neck only. Now we can press Ctrl and A to select all objects that are not locked. Click on the rotation deformer creation button any dialogue should appear. It is all right to choose any parts group we want. Give it a name. Let's call it Face Rotation. Below in the Add section, select as parent of selected object. Then click Create. We can now use left click to drag the rotation deformer to rotate the head. If there is any more art mesh you need to add to the deformer, simply select the art mesh, then select the deformer from the deformer list in the inspector palette. The neck rotation seems a little off. To reposition the center point of the deformer, hold down Ctrl and then left click and drag it to a new position. This also works for warp deformer. When holding down Ctrl, you move or transform the deformer without affecting the art mesh. Once the optimal position is set, we can move on to setting up the parameter. The method of setting a parameter for deformer is the same as setting up for art mesh. Simply select the deformer, select the parameter, and click the Add 3 Keys button. For this character, Let's give it a 30 degree rotation left and right for each end. Now we can tilt the head by sliding along the parameter. Next, let's give the hair a warp deformer. A similar dialog appears. Let's name the deformer Hair Front Swing. Warp Deformer has two unique properties, each composed of two values. These values affect the control on the deformer to be refined or fluid. The values can be configured anytime, so do not worry if you are not sure what is optimal at first. For now, let's go with the default values. Use 2x2 two two for Bezier divisions and 5x5 five five for conversion divisions. When ready, click Create. The warp deformer is created. You may now transform the art mesh using the deformer. Add three keys to the hair move front parameter. We will set up the movement so that the hair swings to the right at the right end of the parameter and swings to the left at the left end. There are three modes of edit level to choose for warp deformer transformation. 
Level 1 is for detailed editing, and Level 3 is for broad area editing. You may find each of the three modes suitable for different occasions. Generally, Level 2 is well balanced and efficient. See how easy it is to make the hair swing with Level 2. Go through the same process with the hair on the side and at the back. Next, we will make the arms move. Select the arm art meshes and create a rotation deformer. Hold down Ctrl to put the deformer in a suitable location, somewhere on the shoulder. The rotation deformer has a default angle. It is the origin 0 degree, and it is pointing upright. However, the character's arm's default angle is not upright. For our own convenience, we can align the rotation deformer with the arm. Hold Ctrl and drag the handle of the deformer and let go when it points to the same direction as the arm. Notice in the inspector that the angle of rotation is changed. We can click on the freeze rotation button to set it as the new default. Moving on. We need a parameter for the arm rotation, but there isn't one for it on the default list of parameters. Let's create a new parameter. On the bottom right of the parameter palette, there's a button for new parameter. Let's name this parameter arm. ID has to be unique. Enter arm. For the arms, the left and right rotation have a different range. In this case, we can set the range of the parameter to different values. Let the minimum be 0 and the maximum be 30. This indicates that the default arm swings outwards only. Select the deformer and then select the newly created parameter and then click the Add to Keys button. Rotate the arm away from the body at the right end of the parameter. It seems like there needs to be some further refinement in this movement. Let's also give the arm two keys on the arm parameter and move the vertices so to fix the issues. Do the left side too. And then we're done with the arms. Finally, we are going to make the body move up and down and lean left and right with nested warp deformers. This time, we need a warp deformer to warp around the whole body. However, if we select all the parts, we cannot directly create a parent warp deformer to include all, because some parts are already structured in the hierarchy. Alternatively, let's create a large warp deformer without any child. Deselect everything, and then click the Warp Deformer button. In the dialog, select the belonged parts to the body. Click Continuous Creation button, and then click it again. We have created two large Warp Deformers in the Body Parts group. The bigger one is the parent of the smaller one. If we set the smaller one to warp any art mesh, then the art mesh can be transformed by the bigger deformer too. To nest all the art meshes into the new smaller deformer, we can drag and drop other deformers into smaller warp deformer and the deformer palette. We can also select on one or multiple objects, and then select the parent deformer to the designated one in the inspector palette. Either way works the same. We shall then transform the full body with the deformers. Select the smaller one and add three keys to body Y. Hold on the handle in the middle to drag the body up or down. Select the larger one and add three keys to body Z. Make the character lean left and right like this.
Good job for keeping up with the tutorial. These are all the basics to build a full model. Apply the concepts that we have learned to rig the rest of the body. And our model shall be ready for animation. Keep up the good work. See you next time.